What's up everybody, Paul Carl here. This is an update on the video where I ended 100,000 active listings and started over. So this is week one of that change. And you can see my sales are actually up almost 6% compared to last month for the same time period, the 10th to the 17th. Um, my net sales are down, selling costs are up. That's because those medium flat rate boxes, they have $14 to ship them plus fees and I'm selling them for 30 to 40 bucks. So those are a little bit lower margin, but when I get more of those 99 card lots up, I'm gonna see a better ratio here. You can see I only sold 30 things. I, I spent less than an hour shipping this entire week. And uh, previously I would be spending about an hour a day shipping. So this has been a success as far as I'm concerned. Uh, one thing that's really kind of bizarre and interesting is if we look at my unsold listings, I I was just letting things sell off. I wasn't really relisting. So I had 96,000 active listings, $250,000 of asking price. And now I'm, I have 2,000 <laughs> and uh, 93 listings. And this store, this version of the store, is outperforming 96,000 singles. I don't know what to make of that, um, but I just thought that was an interesting thing to point out. Here's a look at what sold in those seven days, the first seven days here. We got $91 total. Um, somebody bought three of the baseball boxes. Here I got a basketball and football box sold to another customer. The 1975 Tops um, baseball starter sets. Um, I had some of the big cards in each of these ones. These were low grade, low to mid. Um, sold two of those in one person. That was a great sale. 68 bucks right there. It was like five bucks to ship. Uh, 50 stripe, 50 bucks. Um, a Penny Hardaway card out of 10, another 50 there. Football box, basketball box, hockey box. These boxes do pretty good. Another hockey box, another hockey box here. This is another one of those 75 Top Space Ball Starter Lots took a $35 offer on that one. Another nine, uh, 75 starter set. This one I took, that one actually sold full price. Uh, baseball box. We got another 1975 Top Slot. That one at 32 bucks, just about. Another hockey box. Um, top loaders. I don't ship cards in those nasty yellow or scratched up written on stickered uh, i don't use use top loaders um i guess stuck up <laughs> so i sell those sold a medium flat rate box full for 30 bucks i used to throw them away and then i found out people buy them so now i throw them in a medium flat rate and i sell them um this was i worked out a deal with a customer this was 1988 top baseball um this particular customer is trying to get a set graded um and have every card psa 8 minimum um, so I actually work with, worked with him. This is one of probably like five to 10 orders he's put in with me. And, um, so I, I looked at the cards I had and tried to pick out ones that I think were gradable for him to see. So that, that was a good $25 sale there. Um, LeBron James, 10 bucks. I picked this up at the antique mall that I got a booth at. I check out the other dealer and, um, he had this car, uh, for five bucks. So I snagged it and listed it. A um, couple of hockey card, WWE card, ten bucks there for the pair. This Griffey, I sold it low, nine bucks. Um, it has some ding corners, uh, but still nice sale there. Allen Iverson hoops, four bucks. This was international, so that's why it came out to seven up there. Um, hockey card, four bucks. Heinz Ward, um, out of two ninety nine, black refractor, six bucks there. Another Penny Hardaway five, and then Kobe Bryant uh, 2015 Prism for five bucks. So I'm trying to do five as my minimum for um, singles, but I have some that are below five still. But yeah, this was my first week. This is what I sold. Tons of these boxes. I want to keep selling them. I have a ton ready to go, and there's going to be a lot more as I go through my old inventory. Thanks for checking out the video. Let me know what you think of this style where I just kind of put this in for, for filler and because I thought it was interesting to see the contrast versus singles. So if you like this what sold stuff, I'll do more of it. Um, let me know what you think about that and join up on the Discord if you want to talk shop, on um, selling stuff on eBay, on automation, um, the best way to sell cards, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, 
if you want to talk to me personally, that's that's probably the best place to get a hold of me. Um, anyway, thanks again for checking out the video. Have a good one.